Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the final video of Triple Grace for today. My name is Michael, I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is the 26th to the 28th. Is it the double fulfillment? When we look at the calendar of 2021, then we, we see that we are now in the month of Edah, what is the 12th month of the Hebrew calendar. And we are looking forward to the time frame of the 26th to the 28th of, of uh, February as a possible time when the Lord will come, when the transformation will take place and when the escape of the innocent will take place. But then we also know and understand that exactly on the same time frame, one month later, on the 26th to the 28th, we will have the beginning of Passover what would also be a perfect timing for the beginning of the end times, for the seal tribulation. So could it be here a double fulfillment? Could it be that the first escape would take place now on the between the 26th and 28th of February and then another one, a main harvest that would take place at the 26th to the 28th of March? Do we have a double fulfillment here? At least we know this is also the time of the death of Moses and Methuselah and this is the time when the ark doors are closed, this is the time when a new beginning starts. So if everything and all the patterns are coming together and we know that this is the time and the old times are coming to an end and we know also that the 70 years plus 3 years of rest periods will come to an end by the 14th of May latest. So then we know that we are in a very interesting time right now and the fulfillment of so many prophecies that the Lord has sent forth in the last months could come to an end now and come to a fulfillment. So watch brothers and sisters, a high watch time from the 26th to the 28th of February and 26th to the 28th of March. Be prepared that something major can happen, that the heavens will open. Stand ready, stay clean, stand ready, prayed up in the upper room, awaiting your Pentecostal outpouring. Let us all pray that it now begin, that this will be the time and the year for the Lord to show forth His grace, His mercy and His power. That the harvesting brides will step forward now into their destiny and purpose so that at the sixth seal, the multitude closed in white can stand. And then we will be ruptured into paradise after we have fulfilled our final task to serve the Father on the throne and the Son and the Holy Spirit as never before, so that we could have walked as an image of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and have raised the dead and, and healed the sick in the power and the glory of the kingdom of heaven. A double fulfillment could be here, but it could also show forth that we might be in a jubilee year, what would then allow us to have a, a second Adar month, what would be the 13th month, what would also have and then two Adars, 26th to the 28th, in February and in March. So let's see what will happen, brothers and sisters, and let us always pray to the Lord that everything will be done only according to His will, because as his will be done as it is in heaven so on us and all the glory and everything what we bring forth all the revelation all the glory will go to God the Father because he is the creator of all things and he has made the plan that we will follow that will come to pass right now so that all of his creation can be rescued and for all this I pray in Jesus name come Lord Jesus come Maranatha. Amen and Amen.